Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES right now. A couple of days back to back strength. We've seen uh, a Friday rally here. Monday, we've seen some strength as well. And today, a little bit of a pullback after yesterday's trend day up. Uh, this market continues to find a way to push higher despite weakness. And at the moment, we're making our way back toward the FOMC key level uh, above. So uh, price dropped away from it. The December 14th meeting there, we've seen price come back to it. Almost get there here, higher low developing and now higher highs as this market could go get that 4085 up ahead. Here, if today's going to remain bullish within this uptrending structure, you want to see price continue to hold above the previous session's midpoint, 40.18 half. Right now, we're about three points below that zone. If price can push back above 40.18 half, uh, we could be looking at a bit of a bounce back toward the highs of the day, sideways to up uh, as this market continues to trend higher toward 40.85. If we take a look here at the NQ, You'll notice right now this one has also seen a bit of a pullback after the previous trend day. Two day range uh, pretty high as this thing has pushed higher to just within striking distance of the FOMC key level from December. That's 12.059. That level still in play to be reached here pretty soon. Again, early pullback today toward the previous session's midpoint. And if that zone can continue to hold, that's 11.8. Uh, 816 so basically 11 8 16 there is a, a, a spot 11 800 if price were to drop into that zone bulls want to defend for an opportunity to push this thing back up toward the previous sessions close and perhaps even beyond this market continues to work higher toward 12 0 59 as as long as price continues to hold above the previous months midpoint taking a look here at crude oil right now crude oil up about a quarter of 1%. It's a narrow range that has played out over the last couple of days. You can see price has uh, has been trending higher to begin the year after the two-day meltdown here. But price continues to hold below the 83.52 level. That's the key level there that separates this lower market structure here from this upper market structure up here. So until then, price could continue to see some range bound sideways to up price action. But until we can see a push through 83.52, we're still in this lower market structure here. We could still see a rejection that brings us back down within this market structure. So right now, still sideways to up at the moment. Uh, a bit of a range that has developed from 80 half up to about 82 half. So again, once we get a breakout from that range, we could be looking at some good, decent movement. Still an upward bias at the moment with a shot to go get uh, the 83.52 and test that level up ahead. Taking a look now at gold futures. Gold right now up about two-tenths of a percent. This market has been extremely bullish. Counter trend rotations have been within range. Uh, we have only seen this market hit the eight period average on two days this year. Price pulled back into the bullish Pima trigger zone, came right out of that zone and hasn't tested it yet. That shows how strong this market remains. As of right now, we're seeing a little bit of a failed new high developing here beyond 1940. That could lead to a bit of a rotation back down here today. But even if it does, uh, this market continues to be one to buy on the dips until proven otherwise. Even a, a dip as deep as 1900 could fuel a move toward 2000 up ahead. Lastly, taking a look here at the YM. The YM here, uh, trading within a narrow range that has developed over the last 10 weeks. It is now the 11th developing week here. You can see this narrow range right here. That compression has built out over the last several months, three months of, of range-bound action. That could lead to a huge breakout move up ahead, somewhere in the ballpark of four to 500 points. So we're going to continue to watch the development of this pattern. As of right now, we are seeing a little bit of strength within the pattern that last Friday had an outside day up continuation on a Monday a little bit of a pullback here Tuesday but still flowing higher 
And again, this one could be working its way back up toward the uh, December FOMC key level. That's 34,617. And that would be the top end of the range here. And not expecting a breakout just yet. We're still working our way up within the range. Could continue to, to build out in here. But once we do see a breakout from this three-month range, could be a significant move up ahead. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out developing into the rest of the session. Good luck. Trade well. And I'll see you in the trade room. Take care.